Hello mga kagri, kumusta? Agritox PH na po pala. Ngayon ay pag-uusapan po natin ang mga basic calculations sa soil science. Pero bago pong lahat ay paki-like and share po ng video na to. At kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to ay paki-subscribe na rin at i-hit ang notification bell button para updated po kayo sa mga usaping may kaugnayan sa agrikultura. Maraming salamat po. soil moisture content. It is one of the important soil properties to determine since um, a lot or almost all of our plants are directly influenced by water. Okay, kailangan po nila ng water. Kaya napaka-importante po na ating i-compute or i-determine kung gaano ba karami ang ating tubig na dyan po sa ating lupa. Para po malaman natin kung kailangan pa po ba tayo mag-delig ng tubig, kung gaano po ba karaming tubig ang ilalagay natin sa ating mga lupa. Yan po ay isang napaka-importanting bagay po. Kasi napakahalaga ng tubig at saka mahal pa. Ngayon, kung meron po tayong moist soil, moist soil, na 150 grams. Moist soil po, ang ibig sabihin ay meron po siyang tubig, kaya moist. Okay? So, this is 150 grams yung moist soil natin. Ngayon, gusto po natin malaman kung gaano karami ang tubig na andito sa ating lupa. So, ang gagawin po natin dyan ay ilalagay po natin itong soil sa oven para po matanggal yung kanyang tubig. At matitira na lang po ay yung soil. So that we can compute how much water are present in that particular soil. So ngayon, pag pinasok na po natin siya sa oven, after that, kung wala ng tubig, titimbangin po natin ulit. For example, yung nakuha natin ay 100 grams na oven dry weight, yung wala ng tubig. So now, we will compute how many percent is the water content out of that soil. So ito po yung formula niya guys. Percent MC or moisture content is equal to fresh weight minus oven dry weight divided by oven dry weight times 100%. Yung fresh weight po, ito po yung moist soil. Meaning, meron pa po siyang tubig. So, ang fresh po ay parang ako. Fresh. <laughs> Paano masabi? Okay, so, fresh weight is 150 grams. And then, oven dry weight, ito po yung timbang ng ating soil after po natin nilagay sa oven. So, wala na po siyang tubig. So, minus 100 grams, which is the oven dry weight, divided by 100 grams times 100%. So, now, 150 minus 100, that would be 50 grams, divided by 100 grams times 100%. 50 grams divided by 100 grams First, we will cancel out grams and cancel out grams. So, 50 divided by 100, that would be 0 0.5 times 100. That would be 50%. So, this is now the moisture content out of this moist soil. So, it's very easy guys. Yan lang po ang process niya. Then there is a question, how much water out of this value in terms of weight? Okay, so we will just multiply 150 grams, which is the total, times 0 0.5, which is the 50%. 50% is equivalent to 0 0.5 in decimal form. Okay, 
So, 150 grams times 0 0.5, that would be 75 grams. Meaning, if we have 150 grams moist soil, and 50% of that is water, we will have 75 grams of water out of this weight. Okay? We have another question. How much water in terms of volume? Ang kanina po, in terms of weight, ito po, grams. Ngayon, in terms of volume. Paano pa i-compute yan? Uh, we will be using the value of bulk density. For example, meron po tayong 1.25 grams per cubic centimeter na bulk density in this particular soil. Ano po pala yung bulk density? Ito po yung timbang ng ating lupa with a given volume. Okay? For example, meron po tayong lata. Okay? Itong lata, meron po siyang volume. And then, yung soil na nandito sa ating lata, for example, meron po siyang 125 grams. And then, if the volume of this can is 1 cubic centimeter, we will just divide this by this. Okay, so divide grams by cubic centimeter. So 1.25 grams divided by 1 cubic centimeter, that would be 1.25 grams cubic centimeter. Okay, so this is the bulk density. Anyway, we will discuss in separate video for the bulk density since it is a different thing. But for the example of this, we will use this value of bulk density for this particular soil. So ngayon, we will use this value in computing the total volume of the soil. Okay? So, ratio and proportion po yung gagawin natin. 1.25 grams divided by cubic centimeter is equal to yung gagamitin po natin ito yung oven dry weight since bulk density is the weight of dry soil divided by its volume so we will use 100 gram soil which is the oven dry weight since we will have the ratio and proportion okay so 100 grams divided by x so, yung mga ex po, inahanap talaga natin yan. Bakit kaya? <laughs> Just kidding. Uy, uy, sana all! <laughs> so, yung ex, hindi na po yun dapat inahanap pa. Pero dito sa ating computations, kailangan po hanapin ito. Okay? So, gagawin na lang po natin yan. Okay. So, we will have a cross multiplication. 1.25 grams times x, that would be 1.25 grams then x equals cross multiply 100 grams times cubic centimeter okay para x na lang po yung matira we will divide this by 1.25 grams and also the same here 1.25 grams cancel cancel kasi parehas lang sila X na lang yung natira. Napakahalaga po ng X talaga. Ano? Uh, 100 grams divided by 1.25 grams we will just first cancel out the grams and cancel out the grams to remain cubic centimeter. So 100 divided by 1.25 that would be 80 cubic centimeters. So this is the total volume of the soil. The question is, if we have 50% na water, ilan po yung water dito? So, the same process, 80 cubic centimeter 
times 0.5 or the 50%. So, press lang po yan. In decimal, 0.5. The answer would be 40 cubic centimeter. So, when we have 80 cubic centimeter na soil and water, and then 50% po dyan is water, that's why 40 cubic centimeter po yung water natin dito sa ating soil. So, ganyan lang po kasimple. Ngayon po, meron pong additional na topic which is related to soil moisture content. Ang sabi po, if we have a pot experiment which uses 2 kilograms of soil, dry soil po, dry. And then, yung gagamitin natin is fresh soil. And then, yung fresh na soil po na yun ay meron pong 5% moisture content. Yung tanong po, gaano po karaming fresh soil na ilalagay natin dito? As equivalent to 2 kilograms dry soil. Dapat lagpas po sa 2 kg soil ang ating nilagay kasi fresh. Okay? So, paano po yan? We will just multiply this 5% to this. Okay? Ganito po yun. So, 2 kg is equivalent to 2,000 grams. Tama po ba? Okay? So, 2,000 grams times... 5% is equivalent to 0.05 decimal. Okay, so we will have to multiply this one. So this will become 100 grams. Okay? Yung next po natin gagawin, we should add this to the 2 kilograms. So 2,000 grams plus 100 grams that would be 2,100 grams ito po yung kailangan nating fresh soil na ilagay dito para magkaroon po tayo ng 2 kilograms dry soil and it contains 5% moisture content so ganyan lang po napakasimple po ng ating computations po ang ating mga basic calculation sa soil science. I hope meron po kayong natutunan mula sa video na to. Kung meron kayong mga questions and clarification, please comment down below and pakishare na rin po ng video na to, especially to our agriculture students, to agriculturists, and also for our graduates in agriculture na gustong mag-take po ng ating licensure examination for agriculturist. Napakahalaga po ng topic na to sa inyong darating na examination. So please watch this video. This is for you. At ngayon, ito po si Master Arwin ng Agritox PH na nagsasabi, Every time we eat, let's thank God and thank our farmers.